In today's video, I will illustrate how to fix that perfect Nigerian African fried rice recipe. Trust me when I say this is absolutely and incredibly super duper flavorful. Don't forget to like, share my video, at the same time subscribe to my channel. Hello friends, you're welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. Alright folks, for the most important ingredients which I consider the chief items you will need 1 head garlic, 3 bonnet peppers of different color, 1 large ginger, 4 to 5 spring onions, 2 large onion sizes, 1 handful of fresh parsley, rosemary and fresh basil. Off camera I have cooked my chicken and saved it out so this is um, chicken stock. It's also a vital ingredient. You can use any protein of your choice. Other spices you require a tablespoon of thyme, curry powder, no cubes, salt, and mixed spices. Okay? Yes, for my oil of choice and preference, I have coconut oil and butter. Frozen vegetable with one large fresh red pepper. For the frozen vegetables, if you don't want to use that, you can use the fresh vegetables. The rice which is also another vital ingredient you will need five cups of that which must be washed 30 minutes to one hour prior usage i'm also having here some grilled kidney you can use liver as substitute all items i mentioned earlier have been prepped i'm going to throw everything into the food processor and coarsely blend it and set aside but before then the same items you can see in the food processor is what i have in the white plate which is what i use to cook the chicken i'll add everything together and mince it okay lovely so moving forward my work is preheated to that i'll add three large tablespoons of coconut oil with two tablespoons of butter once it is completely melted, I will scoop in two large cooking spoons of the minced ingredient that we just um, blended. Right, once added, you're going to stir fry or fry that for exactly five good minutes. Five minutes later, you will notice the color have changed the process of um, infusion have taken place i will then bring in the curry powder thyme and seasoning cubes toast that for exactly one to two good minutes make sure you're doing this on medium heat all right so you can see the appearance now it is beautiful very flavorful and ready i will then bring in the washed rice which i told you i washed one hour prior usage here you're going to add it um, into the pan and begin to toast. The toasting process is exceptionally important. To that, I'll add um, salt and all-purpose seasoning. We'll keep toasting this for exactly 10 good minutes. Okay friends, after 10 minutes, you can see the gorgeous appearance. I will then pour in all the chicken stock that I showed earlier on. The chicken stock is a vital ingredient. If you don't have it, please use any other protein of choice. I will taste for salt and seasoning. Everything is perfect. I will then flatten the rice and cover that and cook for 5 minutes on medium heat. Five minutes later, the water has absorbed a little bit. Notice I didn't use too much quantity of water. The water quantity was beneath the rice. It is very, very important. So now I will stir once again, flatten the rice, cover up with foil, and then cover the pot and cook for exactly 30 minutes on the lowest heat. While the rice is um, the air busy cooking, I'll add a tablespoon of coconut oil with a tablespoon of butter. And once it is melted, I'll scoop in about two tablespoons of the mixture that we blended earlier on. Let me remind you, if you have the leftover of the mixture, please save it in your freezer or in your fridge. I have cooked that for exactly five minutes and then I'll bring in the frozen vegetables. Toast that for just one to two minutes. Once toasted, I'll bring in the bell pepper with the onions and the grilled kidney and then season with a little bit of salt. You don't need too much seasoning, the rice is super tasty. At the same time, the fresh herbs are going to give an added boost to your recipe. Toast that for exactly 2 minutes, you don't want to over fry the ingredients and then you will set it aside. 
all right friends so back to the rice this is about um, 30 to 35 minutes later the rice is ready very fluffy exceptionally delicious you can even eat the rice like this without even adding the fried items that is the fried vegetable but here i'm going to incorporate the vegetables that we have fried earlier on and then take my time and fry the hell out of this rice <laughs> we are going to do the frying process for exactly 10 good minutes okay this is the secret to a perfectly fried rice the longer you fry it the better and so friends so i have been toasting this for 10 good minutes look at the gorgeous appearance the rice is ready you can see it is beautiful packed with flavors at the same time the vegetables are crunchy and everything looks ready and so we are done with today's recipe unfortunately i couldn't serve this meal you know in a more delightful way because i was so tired i was very very tired considering my condition as a pregnant woman it is not easy so i was so weak that i couldn't serve so you're going to serve your rice with coleslaw avocado pears or bananas or anything that you prefer just serve with your chicken or anything that you want to serve with and guys we have come to the end of today's recipe i hope you have enjoyed this meal god bless you thank you so much for spending time with me remember variety is a spice of life until i come your way next time stay blessed and loved and if you try this recipe don't forget to come back and give me your feedback bye for now